what's up legends what's up all of my legendary gals and gents all of my soul family soul tribe the legendary gang 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 i hope that you all have been doing well i wanted to come to you guys um today tonight whatever time that you're watching this right now is nighttime but if you're watching this sometime in the future no worries because this message is timeless i wanted to come to you guys and just address this um really like thick <laughs> very very much thick thick energy that's going on in the air right now um so we are slipping right out of um libra season if we are not i don't think we're in scorpio season just yet 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 but this last scorpio moon that we had after the new moon in libra was very very revealing um i feel like it was very revealing for all of us um as to what our Scorpio season is going to look like um, so before I get into the actual tarot and oracle reading I do want to remind you guys that when I am calling out the zodiac signs like Libra Sagittarius Aries I'm not only talking about the the people who have the Sun moon and rising in those areas but it's very important for you to look at your birth chart and to figure out okay even if I don't have a Sun moon or, or rising in Aries or Libra or Scorpio where does that sign um, lie within my birth chart what energy does it rule within my birth chart and that is going to give you um, a better like indication as to how this energy is going to very specifically um, resonate with you during this time but for the collective um, the overall energy is the ten of swords so which lets me know that we are um we are actively working on letting go of the things necessary so that we can bring in more of the things that we want um or even letting go of a lot of past things because chiron is um i believe is retrograding in aries right now um we are dealing with a lot of things from past lives um, even a lot of past memories or um, past obstacles from this life. Um, a lot of the new things that we are dealing with, they seem new, but they are um, reoccurring like cyclical things that we're dealing with from either this life or past lives. Um, and we are actively working on transmuting these things so that we can um, really just get more acclimated into this new energy that we manifested ourselves into. Now, this old energy is definitely taking a toll on our emotions. Um, I see the moon here, the magician card upside down. Hmm. Okay. And then um, also the Ten of Cups and the Strength card upside down. So this is definitely giving um, that that Chiron is testing the ways that we are, the ways that we stand up for ourselves is just what is what I um, heard. The way that we stand up for ourselves is giving us a new opportunity to present. Yes, here's the Ace of Swords. It's giving us a, a new opportunity to present ourselves to the world in a new way or to present ourselves to different um, social groups or communities in a way that we haven't necessarily um, went about presenting ourselves before. Okay, so then we have the Seven of Pentacles um, reversed with the Six of Swords. Yes, yeah, so this is giving mostly in the ways that we, um, mostly in the ways that we communicate, in the ways that we communicate who we are as a professional. So this could be like in the workspace, if you are, work, let's say if you are a, a content creator, right? Um, you do like digital design, but you are currently working for like, like Google or like software analysis, like, or you do something, um, at a school, like you might be like a teacher's aide or maybe an assistant teacher and you constantly work on like curriculum or you do the, the news press for the classroom, um, there's something about the way that you communicate what you do. It, it's time for you to level up in the way that you talk about yourself. Because right now it's almost like you are talking about yourself and your skills um, in, a, in, in a vibration that doesn't align with 
the real work that you do. So it's almost like you downside, like you downscale your own work because of where you currently are. So this Aries, um, this Aries retrograde that Chiron is going through is really giving you, um, a, a it's giving you a blast to the past in order for you to understand all that you've went through, build up your confidence, and then be able to come out and present yourself in a much more um, consecrated light. Knowing that you are, okay, so consecrated. When I think about consecrated, I think about something being very sacred and being like blessed by God or blessed by the divine. Um, so it's almost like spirit wants you to rec to recognize your value in spirit. And even though um, your value in spirit may not have a direct translation, uh, you know, according to our earthly eyes and our earthly perspective, it might not have a direct correlation to what you are currently doing in your career um, and the things that you have to go through. Like, let's say if you are going through a lot of like gossip or attention in your workspace because you don't have your coworkers are stuck in the matrix. They don't necessarily have the same mindset as you. So when you talk about, you know, your goals and, and everything that you want to accomplish, if you even feel comfortable doing that, it's not met with with um like mutual with a mutual mindset it's not met with it's more so met with people that don't believe in it and so you almost adapt um that mindset just from being around it so much so spirit is actually ushering in um a, a huge wave of a huge wave of like newness in the way that you look at what you have, the skills that you've cultivated. Here's the King of Pentacles. Spirit wants you to know that you are, and the Queen of Swords as well, Spirit wants you to know that you are very strategic in the way that you move. So please don't let the small mindsets and perspectives of other people um, be your downfall at this moment, even if the downfall is emotional because it's, it's giving that the downfall here is just, um, it's, it's giving like emotional entrapment. Um, you have everything that you need in order to be successful. Um, and in fact, you're already successful, even though it might not look like it or necessarily feel like it at the moment, you are in the exact space that you need to be in order to overcome these things, these lessons, um, these cycles that you keep running into so that you can move on to the next level spirit. Let's get some advice. Okay, so the first few pieces of advice have to do with um, you don't have to defend your mindset to anybody. Okay, um, if there if you are in a space where you feel like you constantly have to defend your ideas, defend your mindset, defend your beliefs, defend your values, that is not the space for you. And spirit actually wants you to move out of that space. Um. It's causing you a lot of deep contemplation, having to go, you know, into into your sacred place, into hermit mode to try to like reestablish validation in your own intuition and in your own skills and your own uniqueness and your own abilities. And spirit is like that. We you've already done that. <laughs> Basically, like you have already done. You've already done this. Don't let people. Um make you feel like you have to repeat lessons um if anything this is just a sign that you are surrounded by a group of people that don't ne they don't necessarily um see the light in themselves so how then would they they're going to be blinded by you do you, you know what i'm saying it's almost like you are the light like you are you were sent into this place to be the light in this dark place so of course some people are going to be triggered because they've never seen a light this bright and they've never allowed themselves to vibrate that high to where they are you know just fearless doing the things that you do you move in a way that other people don't move so don't don't necessarily just expect people especially people in places that you have already kind of like maneuvered your way out of in the matrix if you've already been there and done that don't expect to 
be able to go back there and then fit into those places with those people that are still stuck in that mindset. It just doesn't work like that. Um, let me give you guys an example. So let's say, because this is really what I'm getting, it's, it's almost giving like, I remember a few months ago when we were talking about new employment, right? So a lot of you guys probably did end up finding new employment. You found new, and here's the devil, you found new and better employment, right? Um, but then within this, um, within this new opportunity that you manifested for yourself, you're still around a lot of people that they are trying, they're stuck in the matrix. They don't know how to be, they don't know how to cultivate, cultivate gratefulness for their past, their present in order to manifest more great things for future. They are feeling very stuck. Um, and so because this is the energy that you're around and because the energy of the planets right now is just very tough having us to look back and li literally the planets are having us in a retrograde. Like that's what I've been calling it. Like I feel like I've been going through a retrograde and um, just having to relive a lot of past moments where it's like, okay, I thought we were done with this. No, not necessarily. If it's still triggering you like how it is, then you know it's still something that may need some work. For some people, um, that I just heard like you might want to look into getting a coach, a mentor, or maybe even a therapist at this time. Just be sure to... Um, check in with their values and their beliefs and make sure that you are not, you know, forcing a shoe to fit where it doesn't fit. You know, if somebody doesn't have the same values and the same belief system as you, ultimately, that's not a good person for you to be getting advice from, um, especially advice about your life. That's very vulnerable. Um, you have to do, you have to do a lot of digging, you know, with a therapist into your past. And it's just, it's almost like setting yourself up for failure if you don't make sure, sure, sure before you, you know, get into it. If you don't make sure that that person is already in alignment with you. Um, if that is, that's not for everybody though. For some people, I really feel like spirit is bringing in an elder or a mentor for you. You don't have to go out and do it yourself. Yes. Um, Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve, Elk. Yeah, so for some of you, once you move past this, like, this energy of feeling depleted, spirit is automatically going to send in a an elder or a mentor that's going to help you um, get past this this little sick cyclical rut that you've been in there's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to do to correct it okay um some of you guys might need to do a smoke cleanse as well i it's really just giving like a lot of protection work during this time so even if you choose not to go into complete hermit mode i recommend um doing some smudges i love sage um, patchouli, dragon's blood, um, okay, the walrus came out, remain vigilant about your current situation and pay attention to the signs and omens and let them dictate your choices, so pay attention to, um, how your body is feeling, if you are currently dealing with a lot, if you feel very stuffy, like if you're dealing with a lot of, like, mucus, which makes sense, too, because of the, the, um, season change, um, smoke and water might be very good for you. Um, smoke cleanses like burning like rosemary, burning some lemongrass, um, burning some bergamot would, or bergamot oil um, would really be helpful during this time. Um, as far as herbal baths, um, I sat in a bathtub with some neem the other day. And when I tell you, I felt like 10,000 loads were lifted off my shoulder. Neem is really good for um, purification. Um, medically, it's good for like antibacterial, um, things like that, um, of course. But as far as spiritually, it's green, so it's good for um, protection, it's good for material abundance, and it's also very good for the heart chakra, healing the heart chakra, okay? Um, speaking of heart chakra, I think that is probably one of the biggest things here. Since we are doing all of this internal work and it's being literally mirrored and reflected to us in our faces, um, 
with all of the planetary um, energy that's going on in the transits. It's very important for us to be doing a lot of heart chakra work at this time. Um, even if that is just practicing speaking your truth. Um, you know, when you catch yourself at a time where it's like, mm, I really kind of feel like I should be vulnerable, but I really don't want to expose myself. It's okay to say, I'm just not ready to talk about this at the at the at the moment in time. I don't have the capacity to. to, to uh, wow! Look at me getting, look at me getting touched with it. I don't have the capacity to talk about this at the moment. Can we come back to this a little bit later? Um, because it, I feel like that in itself is just better to say to somebody when you don't want to necessarily lie. Because a lot of times we don't look at it as lying, but when we don't tell the whole truth. Um, your spirit doesn't feel fulfilled. Like, how can you get fulfillment out of not really owning, telling your truth and just telling a little bit or, or having to wear a mask while you are, you know, parading to tell the truth or while you are trying to tell the truth, you end up wearing a mask because of the level of vulnerability that you realize is necessary in order for you to tell the truth. So all I'm saying here is that you you don't don't force yourself to be more vulnerable than you're ready to be. But at the same time, um be cognizant of not betraying yourself by telling uh, by accidentally telling untruths just by wearing a mask um yes we're all going through this together guys this is very weird times i feel like the universe is just really asking us to be honest with ourselves and to accept where we are now there's nothing wrong with the place that you are now whether you have you know slipped back a little bit or, you know, just tr trugged forward and now you're trying to deal with, with the post-op from the healing. That's something that we never talk about. We never really talk about the post-op care after the awakening, after the major healing. You know, after the dark night of the soul has ended, when you're left with all of this, you know, stuff. There's a, a lonely period. There's a, you know, a recap period. There's a, there's a lot of different periods that aren't necessarily discussed after you go through this huge like bulk of the initial awakening right so I think that there is just um uh, there is a need for radical grace and radical love um to be lent to ourselves at this time especially um and yeah we deserve it <laughs> like we deserve it we out here gang 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 for the spirit you feel me like i don't know i just feel like my soul family in particular we do a lot of work um internally and you know we might not hit every single t we might not dot every single i but at the end of the day this is a human experience who can you know you can't expect yourself to be perfect you can only expect yourself to do the best that you can do so i just want to let you guys know that i'm super super proud of you guys i'm super proud of you no matter what as long as you are getting up every single day and you are trying, you are actively trying, you are working with this, you are working with spirit and actively working with yourself to improve and to stay on the path to your highest good. I mean, what can anybody say? Like, of course, on the path to the highest good, there are going to be a lot of struggles. There are going to be a decent amount of dark nights but at the same time it's the blessings you know it's the blessings that come with that it's the fulfillment that comes with that it's the confidence that comes with that it is the um the gratefulness during the journey the assets that you pick up during the journey that really change your life so i'm super super proud of you guys for sticking sticking it out and for just being amazing for being great you are wonderful you are legendary keep pouring into yourself more than you pour into all of these jobs if you work five hours a day or seven hours a day for a job my baby you better be giving yourself just as much time you better be giving yourself at least seven hours a day and i'm not just talking about sleep 
I'm t and I'm not just talking about preparing food to eat. I'm talking about the process. I'm talking about those little in-between times where you just scrolling on your phone and that random thought pops in your head about that about that one time when you was in the third grade and you had low-key um, tripped that one boy and then you lied about it and you was like, dang, why did I lie? I don't know, guys. Like, it's just, you know how those, those little intrusive thoughts come in and then it could just like rabbit hole you? Yeah, don't let that get to you because it, that's really the energy of what the planets are doing right now. And it could be as little and silly as that, or it can be way bigger and a, like, you know, more traumatic. And it can really like kind of shake up how you feeling out of the nowhere. So I just want to encourage you guys because the planets are not playing no games with us. It's always during this season where I feel like things really get shaken up. But I also really think it's because we are we are dawning into um divine feminine season like for real for real so i love it here <laughs> i hope you guys love it here too i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please feel free to like the video comment and let me know what resonated with you if you are looking for personal readings oracle and tarot readings or even dream interpretations feel free to hit me up at the gmail below i'm gonna create a link for you guys so it's a little bit easier to reach out to me but feel free to reach out to me i'm always available via email i'm going to reach out to you at least within 48 hours i want to say 24 hours but just give me 48 hours just in case anything crazy or special is happening um but yeah guys i love you from my heart to yours i hope that you are doing wonderful if you've been having a tough time during this um this energy with the planets and you feel like you've been like look if you book boy i mean i get it i understand but know that you are definitely not alone also feel free to reach out to us in the dms or in the comments um, in the DMs of any of our social medias, our TikTok, our Instagram, and let us know what kind of readings you um, want to hear from us. Um, we want to hear from you guys. I've been doing a couple of polls, but I don't feel like I get that many responses, but I'm going to keep engaging with you guys. I just ask that you guys keep engaging with me so that we can keep it flowing. You feel me? Like a river. All right. Stay legendary, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.